As we looked around the web this morning, we found a few reasons to make a long story short. CBSNews.com has a new 60 Minutes Vanity Fair poll. It says 42% of people would be hurt the most if they were called a liar. 36% said they would be most hurt if they were thought of as a racist. Translation, more Americans would rather be called a racist than a liar. How about mm. neither, Erica? I would go with neither, too, Gail. How about that? Good call. Britain's Daily Mail says, here come the suns. Well, we're in our Beatles mode. 42 years after the Beatles broke up, James McCartney, Paul's son, says he is interested in forming a band with the other children of the Fab Four. McCartney says Sean Lennon, Danny Harrison, and Jason Starkey, Ringo's son, are all thinking about it. So there you go. And if you're a James Bond fan, I would buy their album. If you're a James Bond fan, the story from the New York Post may leave you just a bit shaken. 007 has always had one favorite beverage. Can I do something for you, Mr. Bond? Uh, just a drink. A martini, shaken, not stirred. Not stirred. Now we hear that in the next Bond movie, Skyfall, Daniel Craig knocks back a beer. Heineken is doing the happy dance. Craig will also do a commercial for Heineken. Hmm, interesting synergy there. USA Today is showing off the new NFL uniforms. Nike designed them for all 32 teams. They're made with lighter fabrics. They've got a tighter fit. Some of the NFL stars did the modeling at Tuesday's event. And I'm thinking they look good in their uniforms. I think they look all right, yeah. yeah Nike <laughs> gets it right again. <laughs>